installment of Inside the Bullpen. We were morons and missed our quarter of a... Uh, A century mark last week, so happy episode 51 to everybody. Um, It is Brahma's in Bulls hockey this weekend at Nitex, and should be a good old time as always here in the shoebox. The Battle of the Cattle, round three as we like to call it, round four, coming up later this month as well for Thanksgiving. And uh, it's good to have you guys back for uh, listening to another episode. Hopefully you had a very safe and fun Halloween chat. I'm sure you were mowing down some candy of uh, from Gus and Violet and <laughs> the James and the whole gang. There was some candy for sure. Uh, you know, we actually donated some of it to the troops. Oh, nice! There's a, a program you can do. We learned out, <laughs> learned about that from our school. You can actually really? send your Halloween candy, excess candy. So we indulged for a couple days, and then we uh, shipped some off. So hopefully. That's a way better... Uh, Somebody out there is on a sugar high as they mow down terrorists. <laughs> I like that. That's a good thought. Uh, it's probably better than just donating all your scraps to uh, to us here in the office. Then pretty much we're all just hating our your, lives. It's for your health. It's for both of <laughs> It's for both of <laughs> <laughs> we, we appreciate it. I want you all to be that's, healthy. Yeah. That's the real MVP right there. Chato. <laughs> this is exactly right. Well, we got a couple fun things to hit on this week, I know. Um, obviously, Amarillo Series, let's touch on that just a tad. Uh, Brahmas and Bulls both have two wins in the head-to-head meeting out of four games played thus far. And uh, Battle of the Cattle for 5, 6, 7, 8 will be this weekend and then the two days after Thanksgiving. Um, and we've seen a much new and improved Amarillo Bulls team. Is that right, Megan? Yeah, so I think we were talking before this about how we were pretty dominant last year um, over Amarillo, but um, definitely this year it's been it's been fun every time we've played them. Like they've been good, exciting games. Right. I thought and we've we've split so far this season series. We're two and two. Shout out Rocky Russo. No shout out Antonucci. What? <laughs> and Matt Nicholson. Exactly. Sorry, guys. Um, and Megan looked at me like, "What's going on?" <laughs> Like what are these names? Um, but I think last week, um, I mean, we were we were on a like pretty hot streak. Got s- halted in our tracks by Jason Grandy's third straight shutout. But I will fired. his shutout streak before he could equal Gibby. Yes. So that's what really counts in life. So our goal is better by about 18 minutes. Absolutely. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> <laughs> At least in terms of numbers. No, but fans, it's going to be a good one. I mean, definitely we saw much more chippier side from Amarillo, too, than we have in the past. Um, by the way, for Megan looking at me like, what are these names? Uh, uh, Matt Nicholson was the head coach before Russo. I had Nicholson. Tony Antonucci know. was his assistant coach. I don't know why I said Antonucci first. Yeah. That was the first one I came to my head for some reason. <laughs> I had Nicholson. I didn't have Antonucci. <laughs> I was like, I've never heard that. <laughs> so there you go. But they, they didn't play as much uh, physical hockey last year than they do this year. So um, I know, Chad, you and I were just chatting, too, over Megan as well, obviously. But um, – we were just kind of like, yeah, everybody last year, because they smoked the Bulls every time, people were kind of like, woohoo, cool, another Amarillo game that we're just going to pump them 9 nothing here in October. Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, or I could just go do something else in my life. We played them like, you know, 30% of the season, and we won 90% of those games. If you're into percentages, that means we <laughs> kicked their ass multiple times over and over. And, I mean, that's fun to see. You want to come see the home team win, but... right. Um, you also want to see, you know, a little bit of competition. Yeah, no, no doubt. I mean, I think the big thing too is you fans love the Odessa series because they always see that chippy play. There was heck, there was a fight last time Odessa came to town. True it story. happens against the Jacks. So, um, not saying maybe a fight will come from Amarillo, but there is more of a chance this year for sure, uh, based on the play. So, hopefully, you guys can come out to the games Friday and Saturday night. Um, this weekend against the Bulls, and then again after Thanksgiving. Also, there's a Shreveport game before the annual pre-Thanksgiving game. That's always one of my favorites. Um, I love the midweek games, especially around a holiday with more families involved. So um, thrilled to have that back for another year. But obviously that's for another another episode as well. Um, in terms of some off-ice things, Chad, I know we've been getting uh, ripped on quite a bit for the music selection, the uh, Brahma goal song. We got some news when it comes to that, huh? Yeah, we do have some news when it comes to that, Nick. Thank you for pointing that out. That is a true story. <laughs> um, so we've had four home games, and um, we've had three different DJs during that that stand, and I did it one night. And, I loved uh, it. I, you know, got to mix it up, throw some different stuff out there. 
Um, I'm never going to be a professional DJ for sports teams. That's just not my my bag. It's not going to be what uh, I'm going to retire doing. But uh, when we don't have anybody show up, I'll certainly jump in the booth there and twist some knobs and pump out some tunes. Um, the first weekend was pretty rough. And the last weekend of games, we... Well, it wasn't much better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, Woo. it is what it is. I'm you know, partly responsible for that. So we have gone out. We have searched high and low. We've interviewed DJs. We've listened to countless demo reels. We've interviewed people around sports organizations in this Metroplex. And we've ended up with a deal. In fact, you know, look, is I'm not lying. There's the contract right there for those at home. It's the contract right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is a partnership agreement with DJ EJ Enterprises. Um, DJ EJ is uh, Eric Jorgensen. He is uh, DJ EJ, the Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys DJ. So he does everything at AT&T Stadium, which is a pretty good gig, I would think. He also does uh, TCU basketball, TCU volleyball, SMU football, so he's around. Ever now and then he'll do Frisco Rough Riders. He'll fill in for Allen Americans. Uh, he's done the Final Four. He's done NFL London. And in February, he's going to where, Megan? Pyeongchang. Oh, that was well said. Pyeongchang, South Korea, for the Winter Olympics, where he will do men's and women's hockey. I'm assuming they're both in the same facility. And so before he leaves for that... He's not going to be actually our DJ. He's going to have one of his underlings be our DJ. But before he leaves for Korea, he's going to do one game here at Nitex. And he's got full reign. We want him to do just get your knobs ready for yeah. for Korea. Like if you want to play some K-pop, which is apparently... It's a it's a thing. It's a thing. It's Korean a thing. pop music. Like let's let's do it. You know, we'll, we'll embrace it for we'll, we'll embrace <laughs> it for night. You know, let's, let's have some fun. Let's get a taste of what the in arena experience is going to be like at the 2018 Winter Olympics. So yeah, so DJ EJ Enterprises uh, will be supplying, uh, and they will be bringing their own computer, which it is interesting to note. It's the same computer, the same songs that are played at the Cowboys games and. Maverick games and Stars games and all that. So DJ yep. EJ is a um, he's a techie and he has got this software that he has built and he's loaded these computers up with all the good jams. So uh, no more complaining about uh, what is this crap that's putting me to sleep. That's what uh, Scott Plord was blaring through the radio that the fans couldn't hear. What is it? <laughs> what is this crap that's putting everyone to sleep, Chad? Uh, yeah. So you or were- or if they do. Um, Every Cowboy fan out there who claims to be a Cowboy fan should just not be a Cowboy fan anymore because that means you hate the Cowboys because you hate their music. That's right. That's the same right. music bed. So the, we're, we're literally covering our bases with the biggest the biggest the sport best, team. And then you yes. keep playing and it's uh, – It's like, know. well, then I guess uh, Texas just stinks in the state. Um, Frank Trezera had suggested that we hire DJ Jazzy Jeff. Interesting enough. Still commands twenty five thousand dollars a night, so it's probably not in our budget for. <laughs> for uh, plus, we don't want to hear parents just don't understand. You guys know that song? No. Oh my gosh! Easy now. I'm dating. Older people out there will get it. It was DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, Will Smith, his first ever single. Parents just don't understand. Oh, I, I mean, I know I Fresh Prince. Prince. I love Prince Fresh Prince. Prince. I know Fresh Prince. Everybody forty years old and up. <laughs> <laughs> Represent. <laughs> so yeah, so we're really excited to have DJ EJ Enterprises. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we're meeting tomorrow here at the rink, and he's going to nice. he's going to you know hear our, our sound system in all its glory. It's going to be during practice, so the boys are going to just have a noisy practice, <laughs> and then uh, we'll get her going. No, I think that's good. I'm excited. It'll and be then a good time. Also Friday, also. Friday, Nick and Megan. Mr. Jeff Smith is returning. Jeff Smith is a PA pro. Um, he's a super pro. He was he was with us up until about 2013, and then he got just too busy. He does TCU baseball, TCU volleyball, TCU basketball, 
occasionally football. Uh, he's called to do Cowboys stuff and stuff at uh, AT&T Stadium all the time. He's the Cle- Cleburne Railroaders guy, and basically what you get is he doesn't have any time to do Brahma's hockey anymore. Um, he recommended Mike Norgard, our main guy, and uh, luckily Mike has not gotten too busy and popular yet, so we still have Mike. I guess but, the keyword is yet there. <laughs> yet. Yeah, I mean, he's, l- listen, we have, Norgard's listening. We have a hell we of a PA you. announcer. I mean, <laughs> I've only heard a few other arenas in the league, but I'd be willing to stick Mike out there. As he's probably the best in the null. Uh, I think that's a pretty safe bet. And uh, no shot for the let's go, Bulls. Oh, let's go shade. Bulls. Now, just one comment on that. I saw somebody post a video on like Facebook or Twitter, or something from the game, and let's go, Bulls was being chanted, talking about the game last weekend in Amarillo. I mean, Th- there's a I don't know, like, there's school buses with more people in it than that, that arena had. Am I wrong? <laughs> You're not wrong. No. no. Definitely not. Um, they've seen better days, I'm sure. They've always struggled to draw. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, that goes back to, like, my first year, 2008, They, when they were the Gorillas. They struggled to draw. They've been better this year, at least, than last year. That's for sure. Must be the drum line drawing the people Maybe. in. They had the, the the drum line last year, too. Drum line. They had the drum line. I kind of like the drum line. I'd rather have the drum line than the Let's Go Bulls I like every the drum line seconds. during stoppages. Maybe not so much. You well, what? We need a drum line. It's just, I guess I'm, anybody out there is with a drum line, hit me up. Let's get a drum line in here. It's awesome. That would be – see, I agree because I'm I – know, I know you don't like it as much during play. I think one of the coolest traditions in – Hockey, well, like one hockey team in general. I'm going to college route, but it makes sense with juniors. Um, the Wisconsin Badgers, oh, yeah, during power plays, That's they will cool. have their drum line rocking it the full 20 minutes or tw- two minutes, 20 minutes. <laughs> Jesus, wow. the full two minutes. That is well. some power play. <laughs> really good. Someone power really power. screwed up. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. I love so good. Can you imagine the shoebox with like the roof just no, it would shake in here? We did before. Birdville High School next door. I keep pointing as if uh, in the podcast you can get my finger pointing. We'll get video up sometime. Yeah, get video Chad up. Just <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, all right, anyway, all anyway, right. Sorry. I digress. Before uh, Birdville High School marching band went to the Rose Bowl back in like 09 or something like that, um, they did a fundraiser. Yeah, and they basically took over the terrace, and it was Awesome. Their drum line was like on the first row of section I. Like That's sick. First like four rows actually. And we told them like during stoppages and play, just get it going. And when you see the puck moving around, that means shut her down. And it was awesome. It was like a college basketball game. It was exactly what it was like. And it was amazing. So if there's any bands out there of the school kind, reach out and let's. Uh, we want your snares. We, we, want, we want your, your quads. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Let's the reach big, out some of those guys and baseball. let's reach out some of those guys in the Vegas uh, Fremont Street just with the buckets and. Oh my God! Yeah, we'll take. <laughs> hey, we'll take a out. school drum line. We'll take a hobo we'll, drum line. Whatever. <laughs> we'll, whatever. we'll take a guy banging an upside down trash can. Absolutely. Yes. Like if stop. you got some rhythm, we're in. We're <laughs> in. Got some rhythm, we're in. All right. <laughs> There's the hat. There's Let us the know. Tag. You know what? We don't discriminate. If you don't have rhythm, you're probably in. <laughs> so just, just bang. As long as you're out there doing your best. Yeah. I mean, that's all. Like all our power really play. Just, just out there doing your just best. Just Hobo Bob living his best life. Doing your best. <laughs> so uh, the boys are back in, in practice. They're grinding hard. Um, getting ready for the battle of the cattle round. Was this round three? Yep. This year? Yep. So we're two and two on the year. Sure are. Um, that's good. And they're actually behind us in the standings, but we've played like four more games than them. Correct. So. We have, I think, uh, well, they have three games in hand. Yeah, they've played 15. We've played 18. We've but played we're the- still okay. Like in terms of. Yeah. Because all these head, these head to head games are important and we play them early on. So. It's the first part of the season is weird because we're tied with Shreveport in the top of the South, but they've played two fewer games than us. Yes. So. Because every other team except for us gets a normal off week, and then not named Christmas. Breaking the mold, the team that's played the most games in the South, Topeka, is in the last. So <laughs> yeah, they're come on, Topeka, womp, womp, you can womp. do it. They're on, they're on a downhill spiral. Is hopefully, it? hopefully, investing more time uh, off the ice on getting out of Topeka than they're focusing on players. Uh, 
performing. This is perhaps true. <laughs> um, so they could they can go out over West Rink. They could. We we how about that? It wouldn't work. But, <laughs> you know, we could try it. Give us old college. All try. you can do is try. Uh, so Saturday we get to see the military jerseys. Yes, uh, and you guys, we saw them in the staff meeting. They, That's right. They're here. What do you think, Nick? Did you see them, Megan? I did see them. And. Yeah. Uh, B minus. Oh. Pull. Oh. Shots fired. <laughs> uh, I think it's a. We, we've had some really good juries in the past, so I got to be a little critical of us. And I can't sugarcoat everything because the fans are going to be like, oh, Nick over here just loving everything. No, I mean, there's there's certain aspects of it that are. I like. Uh, agreed. A lot better. I like. I love the name bars. The name bars are very cool. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. This they year. do look very but cool, and they're on. Well, the reason so that's <laughs> a big one. They are on. <laughs> well, she's all saying it too because it's uh, uh, like the colored name bars. Yeah, so it's like blue. They're yeah. like blue yeah. with white lettering. They're really nice, and they're on. Correct. So. Yes. so it's not just like oh, it's just the letters. It actually like, has like a black border or a blue border blue around border, it. Yeah. The, the only thing really we're nice. not happy about is they were supposed to be fully stitched, just like your home jerseys. Yeah. Um, and away jerseys, they came with something sublimated. Yeah, like, but but the crest is the crest to, supposed to be stitched and the numbers and the, the numbers to be tackle and the twill. Yes, and for the fans out there, like a sublimated jersey is basically a t-shirt with a fight strap. I mean, it's basically it's true. lightweight. Players love it; they feel faster and lighter and everything out there. Uh, they're less durable, so we'll see. We're wearing them four nights. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I don't know if they're going to make it four nights. <laughs> We'll see, but so that that's going on, and um, so we'll run the eleventh, twenty second, twenty fourth, and twenty fifth auctioning on the twenty fifth. That sounds right. What did you say? Twenty second, twenty fifth, twenty second, twenty fourth, twenty fifth. That's not the twenty. Oh yeah, we are wearing them. No, yes, that yes, yes, right. yes, 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 yes. So it's exciting. And then uh, you guys just saw the casino night jersey. We right? did. Did. Oh, you know what else we've got? Megan Kim. We have Megan Kim. Uh, you know, you take that microphone next door. Up? She's going next door. We we've got a uh, a casino. We've got a, we've got a uh, slot machine here that will be in the lobby for um, this weekend's games as we promote uh, Casino Night. Making Chad filibustering. Oh, you can hear it. She's putting tokens in now. Go big. Bet the Bet the ball. See those sounds? It's so exciting, isn't it, Nick? Wow, it gets me jazzed. I can almost smell it. Was, it was speaker. more excited for you earlier. <laughs> like, it got really loud. Like, it, it was like it was loud. music and... How about, how about, how about us over here? I just say the wheel spins a uh, hundred wheels big. A <laughs> hundred wheels like, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> look, look, I'll try again. Well, Megan's going to give it a try again. It's addicting. It's a bad thing to have in the office. You, I mean, it's just a slot machine. It literally, we can win nothing from it, but we won't. The best was when you and I were, uh, you, me, and Monica were winning the jackpots because we were trying to fix it. Oh, yeah, yeah. When we first turned it on, the thing shot. Chad, it, it doesn't like, like me as much as you. Like it was uh, <laughs> vomiting, vomiting token. Did you hear Megan over there? Yeah. It doesn't like her as much as you. There you go. Now we're getting some sense. Now it sounds like we're broadcasting from the back of a Stuckies. Really does. This is great. Whoa! In a three head coach, Michael Hill with a big win. See everybody walks by the office and just sucks. How about that? All right, well, right. we'll just have Megan play. That's just fine. We'll, we'll see how long it takes her to, to win a jackpot. Um, so, so let's see. We got new jerseys in. Those are great. It's kicking. Megan has got it going. <laughs> Megan's like, what's going on? I can't turn it off now. She's really got rocking. Wow. This is un- That the was like. Bobby is going to be so loud. This <laughs> you weekend. can tell it's so Ta-da. loud. That's when, Ta-da. that's when you know we're off the cuff and just winging it on the podcast when we There's can't no figure plan. out how to start. And, There's no plan. No, really. Just like open the door. Let's let's rock it here in Studio 42. Yeah, Studio 42. <laughs> we, we jump around every time. Quattro Keeps, dose. Keep me. <laughs> Quattro <laughs> dose. Quattro <laughs> So, uh. Okay. Chiquatro dose? Uh, is, sure. See? Chiquatro, the, the shaving. Chiquatro? Uh, I don't know. I don't shave. 
obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I gave that up about three weeks ago. Where are we, Where's gentlemen? Movember. Movember. It is, it is awareness. It's the most difficult. We'll All right, so back it. back to our casino fun. Um, we, we, obviously, that, that slot machine that they heard for about eight minutes now and probably are bored slash turned us off, yeah. um, that's going to be in the lobby now for Brahma's home games, right? Yeah, I believe uh, Ms. At least this Monica weekend. Kaminsky will have the slot machine, and I think we're selling... Um, just just to have some fun before casino night, we'll have it out there. We'll do uh, nine tokens for five dollars, and it takes three tokens to play. And um, I think everybody's a winner: skate passes, tickets, pucks, um, raffles, raffle items. Oh yeah, the, uh, you get a raffle ticket, and we're doing a signed team stick. Is yes, that right. Brand correct. new, Easton, yep. never been used. Signed stick by the entire team. Um, with the exception of one player, who true, who we need to get, who we need to get on it get right on now, there, and that is uh, Mr. Woolley, not Chad Woolard, <laughs> as he is that be sick. forty years old. Is I don't think his papers just, would clear clearing house just north of the age <laughs> barrier. But uh, the power play would be sick if we had Woolard on here. <laughs> well, we kind of need some help on that. So We've yeah, been better. Yeah. Be better. Yeah, we'll be better. Even better. We're making stuff. <coughs> You're so, right. So we got to trade. You we'll know, be scoring like one rather than zero every weekend. This is true. That's a plus. <laughs> the uh, 42nd trade of the season nets us <laughs> Wooly, who was. Uh, you guys had some scouting report on on this this young man, right? He yeah, played. yeah. So uh, basically, Megan's having to adjust the um, page, whatever it is in the game program. <laughs> to now our transaction log stretched probably two pages deep. Again. So that's nice. Change but yeah, uh, Carter Woolley comes from the Aston Rebels or the Philadelphia Rebels, whichever you want to go, because he's played for both names of the teams. Uh, but he's a Rebel forward and uh, should be a beautiful addition to the Brahmas forward core. I'm expecting him to play pretty big minutes, at least to start. Um, I think he had about eight points in his first handful of games with the Rebels this year. And obviously, uh, Philadelphia did really well against the Brahmas at the showcase. So it must be kind of weird for, for Carter being like, he was on a great Rebels team last year, was the NAHL, like the team was the first place in the Null. Brahmas were second place in the Null. Brahmas beat the Rebels for the Robertson Cup. That's probably still sitting in the back of his head. Then the Rebels started off as a better team than the Brahmas. They beat the Brahmas. Now he's going to the Brahmas team, which is obviously way better than it was back in September, but he's probably like a whole mixed bag of emotions right now. Um but welcome, yes. Carter. We're happy to have you in Texas. Yes. He, like, arrived today. Like, he's on the ice. Like, I was, like, peeking out. I'm like, I don't know that person. That's probably Carter Woolley. Yep. So he's officially here. Great to have him. I think he's going to be a great guy from everything we hear as well. Um, and in terms of his playing, I don't think that should be anything in question. So Happy so to have you, Good Carter. to have a new, new player. We need to sign a stick, get a new... <laughs> Yep. Ooh, military jerseys. Ooh. That one's going to be fun. So, yeah, you may have one guy with no nameplate, and that's better than we've been in the past three months. Oh, yeah, yeah, So the home jerseys also have nameplates now. So yes. the quote-unquote new boys who have been here actually for more than a month now officially have their nameplates. They do. Yep, yep. So no more uh, no more hatred coming on social media grilling us anymore, yeah. right? It, it'll come. <laughs> it don't come anyway. That's At least not, not okay. hopefully not in that department. Okay, but so that's great. So listen, a uh, couple new jerseys. What you got, Chad? Carter Woolley. Uh, last Woolly year, bully. Last year in the playoffs. Woolly bully. Played bully. twelve games in the playoffs. That shows you how long they. Well, obviously they went all the way, just like we did. Five points. Uh, only two penalty minutes, which is good discipline. And then during the regular season, he played fifty-one games, uh, nineteen points, sixty-seven penalty minutes. So. Seems to be a disciplined young man. Love and, uh, it. Durable. Love that. Dis- yep. durable. durable. So that's good. That's and this is his uh, final year of juniors, I believe, too. Yeah, he's a 97. Yep. For sure. So, yep. so good stuff. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, Carter Woolley. We'll have to break out Woolly Bully, which was the old. I know that's Woolley, always, old song. That'll be his. Uh, that'll be his goal. We'll have a personalized goal song. Could you imagine? Uh, just the headache of keeping all that work. Uh, who scored? I mean, like... <laughs> oh, you tipped it? Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't sorry. play your song. Half, the wrong song. Yeah, half the time we don't know anyway. <laughs> I know. We're like, who's leading the line? Pretty much. <laughs> so we uh, we talked about the military jersey. We talked about the new player, um, Battle of the Cattle. Uh, I think we're going to wrap this ADD show up. I do have some tickets to give away. We got tickets to give away. So Woo! 
Let's we'll rattle them again in front of the you mics. Can email so they can hear Nick there. at Nitech Sports because it's easier to say than my email address. <laughs> it's true. So I've got four tickets for uh, Friday night. Those are good ones behind the bench. And I've got four for Saturday. Um, good tickets. Good tickets. And then I've got hell, I got four more for Saturday. So four for Friday. Wow. And I've got, I've got eight for Saturday. Let's do a little Zuroma trivia. So there's two shellfish-related items that were at the original Zuroma on Hall Johnson in uh, in Colleyville that did not make the move over here to the Nitec Sports Center. What are those two dishes? And uh, This is a shellfish. trivia I don't even think I know. You would love them, though. Honestly, they were great dishes, and I was kind of – you're mad they got rid of them? A little bit mad. Yeah. Gotta, gotta admit, I was a little bit upset that they didn't <laughs> come over here. Like, damn. You can't have it all, I guess. So also, if you want to email Nick at nitechsports.com, uh, tell us who you want to hear. We'll have another player on. We had a fun time with Austin O'Rourke and Donald Trump for the uh, 50th episode. <laughs> of the Good that grief. Was great. That was great. Good so grief. For 52 I will the next one be at number 52? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We'll bring in wow. um, another player. So you you pick. Tweet us. Tweet us. Facebook us. That's email true. us. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Throw a flare in the air until we come find you. And we'll, we'll, don't o- O'Rourke do that. is, uh, <laughs> we'll probably not have him back just but we love him, but we'll, we'll change Just some new characters. Change yeah, 100%. Up. I mean, unless there's just like crazy fan support for O'Rourke. Then we'll have him back. We don't mind. No, anytime. We'll chat with him. Listen He'll chat with us, which is the key thing. <laughs> also <Like>. true. <laughs> this is true. And maybe we could do a podcast all in French. <laughs> we, could, we could bring Adamo up here. Well, like, like Adamo, English, you cover these just, things. He'll just yeah. speak in French. It'll be good. And then we'll be like, cool. Yeah. M- okay. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I'm curious to see who uh, the fans uh, – I kind of have a feeling they're going to vote for uh, Biondo. That's my guess. That's just me. Surprise us. But, uh, hey, we'll uh, hop out of here as we're 28 minutes. It's a good it's long one. It's a great number. It's a good number. It's a good number. It's a good number, a good number uh, in honor of uh, Halsey. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll get out of here. We'll, uh, we'll leave you with a little uh, Alice Cooper – from 1969. Did you know he was making music in nice. 1969? Nice. nice. This is uh, Earwigs to Eternity. <laughs> This has been Inside the Bullpen with the Lone Star Brahmas. Brought to you by Acme Brick. Acme Brick, it's the best thing to have around your house.